In this video, we will study about megasprangiate, ovaliferous, or female strobili of zingobiloba. Zingobiloba is living fossil because this is the only genera of the zingobiloba which is living. All other genera have become extinct. Now, female strobili, this arises in the axil of scale or foliage leaves. These are also born on the dwarf shoot. Now, here we can see two erect ovules. They are born on each bifurcated peduncle. At the base of ovule is also present collar. We can see in this figure. Now, this is the dwarf shoot and this is the peduncle, now which is bifurcating and bearing ovule at its tip and at, at the base of ovule is also present collar. And then later on at maturity this ovule will ripen to form the seed. Now we can also see the structure of megasprangiate strobili or ovule. Mature ovule has collar at its base. This will support it. This is the mass of the parent gametous tissue called as nucellus. And this nucellus is covered by coverings called as integuments. At one side, integuments are not there. This is called as micropillar end. And this part of the ovule is called as chalazal end. Here, some of the cells of the nucellus, they disorganize to form the pollen chamber. Function of pollen chamber is to receive the pollen grains after pollination. Now, here we can see this is again peduncle bearing ovule at its tip. Uh, this is bifurcated. So, in the nucellus, a parent chyma cell will become initial for megaspore mother cell. So, this is megaspore mother cell which is being differentiated at this place of the nucellus. Now, because nucellus tissue is deployed, so this megaspore mother is mother cell is also diploid. Now, this diploid nucleus will undergo meiosis to form haploid spores like this. This nucleus, this will undergo meiosis to form four haploid nuclei and then wall formation will occur and ultimately uh, we can see three will be degenerating and this will become functional. So, we can see, th see in this figure, now our upper three, they are degenerating and this has become functional megaspore. So, this is the functional megaspore and this is being produced after meiosis. So, this will be haploid in genetic constitution. Now, we can see ovule is called as megasprangium and nucellus is enclosed by three layered integuments. Now, three layered integuments outer fleshy, middle stony and inner fleshy. Nucellus has single megaspore mother cell which is diploid but this will undergo meiosis to form four haploid megaspores. Out of the four, one toward the chalazal and is functional. Now this functional megaspore has haploid nucleus. Now this haploid nucleus will undergo mitotic cell division. First this will form two nuclei, then four, then 8, 60, 32 and so on. Many nuclei will be produced and these are called as free nuclei. Then they are pushed toward the peri by the formation of the central vacuole and then wall formation will start. We can see here at this pass wall formation will start like this and ultimately this whole tissue will become cellular. So we can see uh, this has become cellular and turned into female gametophyte. So, this is female gametophyte. And here a pituitary and is present. This is called as tent pool. And here at this place, uh, some of the cells, they will start forming archegonia. So, this is also called as archegonial initial. This is archegonial initial. This is cellular female gametophyte. Now, this female gametophyte is being produced inside the nucellus and archegonia are differentiated over here. So, this whole tissue is haploid in genetic constitution. Now, we can see at this point, this is a part where we, we will see that uh, this part will be covered by, uh, this part will turn into female gametophyte. This whole part will be turned into female gametophyte and this is nucellus and inside the nucellus, this part will be the female gametophyte which has developed from this uh, haploid, uh, diploid megaspore mother cell. So, these archegonial initials, they will start undergoing cell divisions. We can see this archegonial initial, this will divide 
into two cells like this then this upper cell this will divide by anticlinal division when division is at right angle this is called as anticlinal division then this can also divide by periclinal division this is called as and parallel to the wall this is called as periclinal division so first this will divide into two cells like this uh, this is primary neck cell this is the central cell now this primary neck cell will undergo division anticlinally to form the two neck cells then this nucleus will divide by mitotic cell division to form the ventricular nucleus and the egg nucleus so at maturity we can see archegonia will have two neck cells uh, ventricular nucleus and egg cell this will also enlarge in size now this is the structure of the mature archegonium of the zingobiloba so uh, functional megaspore undergo functional megaspore uh, i have to correct it i will correct it this is functional megaspore as we have just seen this will undergo free nuclear division about 8000 free nuclei they are produced and we have seen anticlinal wall start forming from the periphery toward the central vacuole and this will be converted to cellular female gametophyte then archegonial initial uh, may be two in number sometime number may go at five at the micropillar end they will start forming archegonia archegonia consists of two neck cell ventricular nucleus and large egg cell uh, like here we can see these are two neck cell ventricular nucleus and this is the egg nucleus now this is the structure of mature ovule of the zingo biloba now out of the two ovules one will develop into seed and we can see here uh, this part is micropyle and these are pollen grains which have reached to the pollen chamber this is the outermost covering called as integument this is differentiated into outer fleshy layer middle stony layer and inner fleshy layer so this is the longitudinal section of the mature ovule and in the nucellus this part is nucellus uh, this is female gametophyte and these are the mature archegonia present over here at uh, this protruded structure which is a peculiar beak like protuberance this is called as tent pole and the area around this has disorganized to form a chamber called as archegonial chamber and this is the base of the ovule called as collar so this pollen grain here in the micropillar end or in the pollen chamber of the ovule they will reach at the four cell stage now this is the structure of the microspore or the pollen grain uh, like we discussed in the earlier video link will be shared in the description box how these four cell structure is produced inside the microspore mother cell these are two prothallial cell this is the generative cell and this is the tube cell at this stage this will reach here at the micropillar chamber of the ovule and then this will start forming pollen tube and this is the mature archegonium having two neck cell ventricular nucleus and this is the egg cell now this pollen tube I have to make you understand how this happens now when this reaches here at the uh, four cell stage at this four cell stage then this will start forming pollen tube like this now this is the pollen tube which is being produced and this generative nucleus generative nucleus will divide into two cells by anticlinal division and then these two cells will develop into the male gametes or sperms now this is the this is the uh, band of cilia which is produced from the blepharoplast granules uh, due to this these sperms they are motile in nature so they are being produced here in the pollen tube two sperms but out of the two sperm one will fuse with the egg cell or an egg nucleus and this will here uh, when this pollen tube is being produced now from here pollen tube will be produced and he, it will have two we can see here this will have two male gametes now this will reach toward here toward the archegonia pollen tube will burst open and two male gametes will be released but out of the two one will fuse with the egg cell now we can see in this diagram this is the fusion of the 
male gamete and this is the egg cell. This is haploid, this is haploid and both will fuse to form a diploid structure called as zygote. So this fusion of male and female gamete, out of the two sperms, one fuse with the egg nucleus. This process is called as syngamy or fertilization. We can also call it as syngamy or fertilization. So male and female nuclei fuse and they form a diploid structure called as zygote. Uh, now we can see in the previous slide uh, here, these two are fusing male and female nuclei they are fusing so ultimately what will happen we will get a diploid structure after fusion we will get a diploid structure having diploid nucleus now this will be having diploid nucleus formed after fusion of the male and the female nuclei so this will be 2n and this is called as zygote so this fusion fused product is called as zygote this is deployed in genetic constitution. Now, when zygote is produced inside the ovule, then ovule will ripen to form the seed. So, mature ovule is also called as seed. So, ovule ripen to form seed. Now, this ovule where fertilization has taken place and this has been converted into zygote. Now, this whole ovule will ripen to form the seat uh, thank you for watching my video if you like my video please like share and subscribe in the next video we will study about the structure of the seed and its germination how this forms the young sporophyte thank you for watching